welcome to one and all myself vasantha department of computer science gopal swami pu college mysore today we are going to start with the fifth session of constructor and destructor chapter already we explained the weightage of the chapter is 7 marks out of 7 marks 5 marks one question as well as 2 marks one question you will get in the annual exam already we explained regarding constructor what do you mean by constructor what are the rules we have to follow to write a constructor as well as the types of constructor and the types of constructor we explain regarding default constructor parameterized constructor as well as copy constructed today i am to explain the next concept on this chapter that is destructor what do you mean by destructor what are the uses of this destructor and how to write the syntax as well as example program for this destructor that today i am going to explain first of all before explaining destructor first i just want to recall the concept of constructor constructor is a special member function used to initialize the object of a class automatically especially this constructor is used only for initialization purpose that means by using constructor we can able to allocate some memory we can able to initialize some data andre constructor mulka navu memory na allocate martivi value na initialize martivi whereas destructor is also a special member function but it is mainly used to deallocate the memory which is allocated by the constructor andre constructor andre kattodu anta helbodu destructor andre kattirona hordakodu anta helbodu and the hordak tag enagutte the memory space will be free here destructor is a special member function used to deallocate the memory which is allocated by the constructor it is a special member function used to deallocate and the constructor mulka memory yen allocate agide aa memory na deallocate madodakke now we destructor na use martivi this destructor function automatically execute whenever we are going to destroy the object of a class automatically this will execute automatically when we are going to destroy the object of a class and here this destructor always same name of your constructor only and the constructor name and the destructor name yadu onde irutte adre the main difference is that it is preceded by tiled operator it is preceded by tiled operator andre constructor anta heluvaga nam enagutte memory allocate agutte destructor annuvaga memory deallocate agutte andre destructor bariyuvaga yav tara use martivi it is preceded by constructor then it can be called as destructor and it cannot be overloaded this destructor cannot be overloaded whereas constructor we can able to overload whereas destructor cannot be overload and here it is same name of your class name only as well as constructor name only but it is preceded by tiled operator that i am to explain with syntax as well as example for example while writing syntax for example class that class name class name here in private section we are declaring the data members data members data members then next in public section we are declaring the constructor then later on we have to use a destructor andre nanu constructor idre matra destructor na use madodakke sadhya how to write constructor same name of your class name class name then empty bracket this is nothing but your constructor it is nothing but your constructor if i want to write destructor then same tiled operator then once again class name once again class name this is your destructor then next close the class see the syntax data members here what i am writing this is constructor how to write constructor class name as well as function name are both are same now this class name this function name yardu kuda same ide it should be declared in public section in the same way destructor also it should be declared in 
public section. And the same class name function name same erathe constructorally. Destructorally kuda class name function name same erathe but it is preceded by tiled operator. And the class name bariyodhukku munche na wo tiled operator na baribekku. For example, I am going to write one example. Class add is the class name. For example, add is the class name. In this, in private section, in private section, declare the variable or whichever variable you want, you can declare. For example, int x, it's an optional, declare the variable. Next, in public section, declare the functions. That is add only, add function. This is nothing but your constructor. It is nothing but your constructor. Next, how to write destructor? Same pattern, class name only add only, but here it is preceded by tiled operator add. This is your destructor. Then next, close the class. To close the class, flower bracket, after that you have to put semicolon. See the syntax and example. From destructor, it's a, it is a special member function. It will execute automatically when we want to destroy the object of a class. This mainly deallocates the memory. It deallocates the memory which is allocated by the constructor. Constructor mulka yen memory allocate agi the. A memory na deallocate maro the. Kena destructor na use maarti ve. And this destructor function cannot be overloaded. Andre one the program ali one the destructor na use maar bodo. Multiple destructor na use maro the kago dilla. Whereas here it is the class name as well as destructor name both as same. See constructor name is also same. But in destructor the class name and function name are same. But it is preceded by tiled operator. Then close the class. This is the syntax and this is the example. In the exam if they ask write a program to display the destructor. Then how to write a program for that? Same pattern in constructor format only have to write display the value or whatever number they are given then later on call destructor function for example write a program write a program using destructor using destructor to display some values any value you can take using destructor for example i am to start with the header file ash include I O stream dot h. This is supporting header file for C in as well as C out functions. Next, ash include punio dot h header file. This is the supporting header file for clear screen as well as get C H. Next, class. There, I just want to display some number. By using constructor, later on I am going to destroy that same memory space. That's why I am going to take display the number. For example, for the sake, I am to write the class name as number, N U M. In this, in private section, we are declaring the variable. For example, in x, x is the variable. Number N U M is the class name. Then next, in public section. Declare the functions one by one. First, I am to take constructor function num. Here, don't put semicolon because inside the class only we are initializing. We are writing the statement of this function. Here, what I am writing x equals 100 I am initializing. Then next, close this function. Number on the class name. Only function name could agate. It does not have any written type specifier, not even void also. It is into void other in written type irodilla. Class name function in same irate. It is semicolon the hak bodu at the hak ter bodu. Hak the in arthare herate. Statements are written outside the class. Now semicolon hakilant and the other statements are written inside the class. Next, I am just initializing x equals 100. Then next, I am to take the regular function void. Display function void display function on this I am going to display the value of this hex. For example, C out C out x value equals x value equals display the x value. 
display the x value then close this function whereas it is a constructor function it is a constructor it is a constructor function because which type of constructor it is it is a default constructor because it does not have any arguments here when the common types of constructor three types of constructors we have that is default constructor parameterized constructor as well as copy constructor whereas in this case we are use a default constructor because it does not have any argument here i just initialize x equals 100 then i am going to buy i am going to take the regular function that is void display idralli kuda nan void anta thagondilla just class name function name nam anta thagondidini it is a regular function whereas it is a constructor function here what i am doing i am just displaying the x value then afterwards i am going to call the destructor function how to call or how to write display this after displaying the value how to write the destructor function same pattern tiled operator your class name is num function call this function then here what i am doing just yes, i am displaying the value destructor destructor then close this function whereas in this program how many functions we have first one is it is constructor function and it is regular function whereas this one is destructor function destructor function here i am just display destructor then next close the class to close the class after semi after flower bracket you have to put semicolon here we have opened the class and here we have closed the class now write in the main program how to write main program void main void main here create the object first how to create object same class name then object class name here we have written as num then object name then what happens once i created the object this constructor function automatically it will going to execute while writing the rules for constructor there we explained this function constructor function will execute automatically when you have to create object of a class and the object in a create maadu takshana constructor function automatically execute agutte already nan first class al helide how which are the rules to write a constructor their class name and function name are same it should be declared in public section it does not have any return type specifier not even void also and this function will execute automatically when we want to create object of a class num object nta helu takshana this constructor function automatically it will going to execute then call destructor function after the object dot display function display function then next get ch as well as clear screen num object we are created we are called display function then get ch close the main program which you opened now is it clear now listen here whereas on this class we explained regarding destructor destructor is a special member function it is a special member function it will execute automatically whenever we are going to destroy the object of a class by using this destructor we can able to deallocate the memory space which is allocated by the constructor constructor mulka en en memory na allocate madidivi adana destructor mulka memory na deallocate madabahudu and with that here we are using tiled operator to represent destructor we are using tiled operator without tiled operator i cannot call it as destructor and here this destructor function cannot be overloaded these are the few points you have to remember for destructor while writing the example program just first i used the constructor there i just initialized x equals 100 then display the values then call destructor function create the object display the value now it's a clear for all of you these are the things regarding destructor next class we'll meet with next concept of the same chapter thank you for all of you